guys welcome back to my angular 11 tutorial in the last video we have seen the event handling how you can interact with the text box drop down list button click event right so with the help of this click event we are going to get the data from the input box on the registration form now i'm going to create few uh, text boxes let's go to the visual studio code and let me create form and inside this form i'll create three uh, text box and then we will able to uh, get the data from these three text box on the button click right so let me say type text and name first name close it and let's copy and paste Sorry. let's add the br tag to display the control in the different line right and let's say the last name and this i would say address now let me add one button input type button and say value get close it save it now let me run the uh, this uh, program and we will see the result Hopefully we will able to see three text box and one button on the browser. Now application compiled successfully. Go to the browser, type localhost 4200, see. I'm able to see all the three text box and one button. Now let's say auto complete off. Yeah. What does it mean? It does it mean because when you click over here, so it shows the all the previous whatever the data you have filled so once you say auto complete off it won't show the previous values right uh, now i'm going to add one click event of the button this way and then your function name say uh, add event yeah and on the form i'll add one reference variable say form equal to ng form yeah now as we as we know that reference variable hold all the data so i'll pass this reference variable and say value now let me implement this method on the ts file and we'll say value type any yeah and we'll console it console.log and say value save it so i pass it and will save it so let's go to the browser and open console i will clear everything and say first last address click so now it's showing the blank why because we have not added ng model here yeah so now let's add the ng model ng model is a is a way of binding the data it's a two-way binding and i have explained briefly in my previous video so i'll paste the link in the description box so let's go to here and clean this console and see now i'm able to get the right first name last name and address right so if I say uh, first and say last and I would say address. So if I get C. First name first, last name last and address holding the value address. Right. So now this is a one way that you are able to get the data of your registration form. But there is a one other way. Let me show you. Input say type submit. See and say value as you submit type yeah so that we don't confuse between these two button and here we have to say ng submit and have to use the same function yeah save it now let's say first 
and the last and say address now I'm pressing the first type button which is input type now I'm able to get the data now let me click the submit type button see I can able to get the data using submit type so submit type work with the form right and it is also uh, it, it it also work when you press enter see when you press enter the method associated with the submit type will be trigger not this button will be trigger right so this is basic difference between submit type and without submit type button so thank you for watching this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe this video and, and channel and share the link with your colleague and friend thank you so much for watching